Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and it is December. Like, what? It is December. So, I have some holiday decorations behind me. I am wearing a Christmas type of shirt. I am drinking a holiday Starbucks beverage. You know what that means, don't you? It's finale season. That's right. It's not the Christmas season. It is finale season for Project Panning. So I'm going to be doing the finale today for my year-long Project Pan, Panning from A to Z. If you have not seen any of the videos from this series this year, I do have an entire playlist that has both this year and 2019 in it. I would highly suggest starting from the beginning, otherwise who likes the end being spoiled? Now with that said, I do of course keep track of all of my tallies, let you know how often I use things, how many grams of product I go through. I really am very big on data, so I will have a lot of that for you today. In fact, in addition to my standard sort of side cut in where it gives you the difference in weight, I'm also going to include the difference in weight from the beginning of the project to the end, as well as the total amount of uses overall. So lots of interesting stuff here. I will say I am going to try very hard to not be as hard on myself as I am. I am definitely a goal-oriented individual. I set goals and even if they are unattainable goals, I get frustrated with myself when I don't meet them. So overall, I don't feel like this was on paper a very successful project, but when looking at the individual items, I'm really trying to focus on the progress that I did make there because at the end of the day, I am a firm believer that any progress is good progress, especially when they're products that would not have gotten this much use outside of the project pan. So I know a couple of you have commented below um, and said, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. And you're right. You are absolutely right. It's just it's hard when you set yourself at a ridiculous standard. And uh, maybe next year I'll try to do a little bit better on that, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not setting many resolutions for 2021. 2020, yeah, you've taken your pound of flesh. <laughs> but let's go ahead and jump in. So for the letter A, I do have my Halika Halika Aqua Petite Jelly BB. So I do not have a new line on here for you. And as you can see, I do have product left in there. This product was not completely full at the beginning of the year, but it was it was fairly full. And so I have been working on it all year and I am kind of bummed that I didn't complete it out, which had been my goal. Since the last update, I did use it a total of 13 times. I do have to continue to remind myself though that, you know, global pandemic, birth of twins, not working, not leaving the house. You know, there are definitely extenuating circumstances, but as far as just the paper goes, I did not meet my goal on that. But like I said, I cleared out the majority of this product here and that was using this almost exclusively for the entire year. So for the letter B, I do have my Fenty Pro Filter Powder in the shade Butter. This though, this was a success. I did use this guy up completely and I'm probably gonna hold on to this packaging because I think it's really pretty. So I did meet my goal there. I used it a total of eight times since our last check-in to round this guy out. So that is super duper exciting. One that I keep kicking myself on because there's really no reason that I should not have hit goal on this, um, but I didn't. This is my Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. It was my goal to use these up entirely. And as you can see, I did not, I still have quite a few in there. Bummer, right? So I did use them a total of six times since our last check-in. And that's the thing, if I had just used them consistently, then I would have gone through that no problem. I just, for whatever reason, kept not doing it. So that is technically not um, a goal met and I really want to make sure that in 2021 that those are gone. For the letter D, this is one of those goals that looking back I now realize was 
absolutely insane. This is my uh, Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Deep Plum. I really thought that I was going to use this up entirely in the year. I really thought at the beginning of the year that that was an attainable goal. Um, mind you, I've never actually used up an eyeliner pencil. I've used up um, liquid eyeliner pens. Those are definitely my favorite application. But this I only smudge along the waterline. That's the only thing that I use pencil eyeliners for is to go along the waterline. I don't know why I thought that there would be enough usage in the course of even a year. Even if I would used this every day for the entire year, I still wouldn't have gotten it completely gone. Like, come on now. So I used that a total of eight times since the last check-in and it is going to be going back into my collection. For the letter E, I have one that I, again, like the, the foundation, I came really close to hitting gold. I wanted to use it up entirely. There is definitely um, probably one month left in here. So if I was doing my finale in January, then I would probably have a gold met here, but I'm not. This is my Olay Mist Ultra, or I'm sorry, Ultimate Hydration Essence in the scent Energizing. I do really like this. Um, it doesn't really do anything special. I just use it as kind of a makeup melting or makeup fixer sort of because it just sort of melds all of the powder products in together. I don't have an issue with longevity when it comes to my makeup. I have dry skin and as I mentioned before, I don't go anywhere, I don't do anything, so I'm not very hard on my makeup. So that one, again, I will have it completed sooner rather than later, but as far as the project goes, it is not a goal met. If I didn't mention, I did use it a total of 14 times since our last check-in, so definitely one month left in there and then it can be done. For the letter F, um, this is also technically a goal not met. This is my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Fire. I used the heck out of this. I absolutely love this highlighter. I think it is beautiful. It is easily one of my very favorite highlighters in my collection. It was my goal to use it up completely. I have never used up a Super Shock product at all, regardless of whether it's cheek, eye, what have you. So I really thought that I could do that. Um, as you can see, I didn't. I used it a total of 11 times since our last check-in, and it is going back into my collection. I'm kind of of two minds. I'm bummed that I didn't hit my goal, but at the same time, I absolutely love this product. It has been discontinued, so I'm not sad that I have to be getting rid of it. For the letter G, I do have my... ColourPop BFF Crumb Gel Liner in the shade Get Paid. This is another goal that I'm realized now it was not an attainable goal. I had wanted to use this up in its entirety. And as you can see, there is still heaps and heaps of product there. Again, this is a product that I really, really like, and I am not sad that it's not leaving my collection, but I came nowhere near to hitting the astronomical goal that I set for myself. I did use it a total of 10 times since the last check-in. So again, everything's been getting pretty good use with the exception of um, a couple of products a little bit later. So I am happy with that. For the letter H, this is one that you already saw that I completed. This is my Pharmacy Honey Drop Moisturizer, which is, ooh, sealed shut. So it was a win earlier in the year, used it up completely. So that is very exciting. I am still talking about the products that you know I've already hit goal on because I wanna make sure that I'm putting in all of the data for you, how many times I used it over the course of the project, the total weight difference, things like that. So even though you knew that this was a win, I still wanted to go ahead and you know talk about it and take a quick sip of the beverage because oh, I'm going under the weather and I'm not happy about it. Okay, so for the letter I, this is one that I came to a realization on quite a while ago. You guys know I've complained about it for months and months now. This is my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Iced Mocha. The shade on this is beautiful. It had been my goal to use it up entirely. Like the eyeliners, that was not a realistic goal. But what I found is that I don't like this product. I think the color is beautiful. And 
if it performed well, then I would be keeping it. The problem that I have with it is that when I put it on, it bunches, it creases, it fades. It just does not do anything nice for me. So I said that I would keep it in, try to use it as much as I could over the course of the year, but that I would be decluttering it at the end of this project. And that opinion has not changed. In fact, I didn't use it at all last month. I just didn't see the reason to force myself to use a product that I don't enjoy. I have a lot of respect for people that can hate pan products because I am not wired that way. If I don't like it, if I don't enjoy using it, I'm not going to, especially with the size of a collection that I have. There is no reason for me personally to force myself to use something I don't enjoy when I have so many other products that I do enjoy. So this guy, going to be decluttered. Um, it's super old. I have no idea when I bought it. I'm going to see if anybody wants it, but if nobody does, I'm really not going to be concerned about putting it in the garbage, especially since it is an eye product. Um, and I, I don't really remember when I purchased it. For the letter J, we have this guy here. This is my Bath and Body Works. Uh, this is the Triple Moisture Body Cream in the scent Japanese Cherry Blossom. As you can see, I cut this bad boy apart and we are empty in there, which is nice. Does smell good. I will say, um, I, the way that I like to use the Bath and Body Works pro, uh, lotions specifically, they are so strongly fragranced that I don't like to use them all over my entire body. I did because I was determined to get this used up, but that's, it's just too strong for me. So I love this scent, but I'm definitely glad to be taking a break from it because I think I kind of burnt myself out on it a little bit. I did use it a total of seven times since the last check-in. Again, that was over my entire body, not just my legs, which is typically what I prefer to do. For the letter K, I have my Lancome lipstick. This is in the shade Kiss Smile Shine. Still have tons and tons and tons of product left in here. I really do enjoy this formula and this color. I didn't have any true goals when it came to my lipsticks in this project. I think I settled on wanting to use them up by a third. I do have a piece of paper that I took the measurements on at the beginning of the year and I will make sure that I pop in some pictures so that you can see the before and after. I haven't measured them yet. I had planned to do measurements throughout the year, but I'm a clumsy girl and I was just really afraid that I was gonna break something, so I didn't. But I do like that I have them so that I can show you kind of January and then now. I did use that four times since our last check-in, just as an FYI. Um, another goal that I don't know why I set for myself, I like to torture myself apparently, this is my Milani blush in the shade Luminoso. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product that I wanted to hit pan in. I've never hit pan in a blush, so why did I do that? As you can see, the dome on there is super duper flat, um, but I am nowhere near that waffle pan. So tons and tons of um, progress to make on that in a project in the future. I did use it 13 times since our last check-in. So I enjoyed using this very much throughout the year, but I am kind of glad to be able to move on to something else for a little while. For the letter M, we do have another win from a previous update. This is my Smashbox Los Angeles lip gloss in the shade Michelada. And as you guys can see, she's all done. She's all done. Let's see if it'll focus. No, probably not. Oh well. Um, so yeah, I did finish up an entire full size lip gloss this year in this project, which is phenomenal. Very excited about that. I also, for the letter M, did finish up my Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer. As you can see, we are good and empty. I really, really like this primer. I do have another one in my collection. I'm not gonna break into it quite yet because just like some of these other products, it's nice to be able to kind of branch out and use a few other things, but I am super stoked that I was able to get that completed and put them in the W column. For the letter O, this is my NARS The Multiple in the shade Orgasm. Again, it had been my hope to finish it off completely and I did not. Um, I also learned that I don't love this color on me. I feel like it is just too cool of a pink for my particular skin tone. So I am gonna keep it around for those times when I do wanna try to use it, but I 
don't see myself using it up anytime soon. I did use it a total of two times since our last check-in, so I was trying to make sure I was putting it in the rotation. It's just not super flattering on me, in my opinion. For the letter P, this one is going to be a little bit um, misleading. This is my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. It had been my goal just to hit um, jar on it. Now, I continue to use it every time I wore eye makeup after I hit goal. So please don't think that I hit all of this jar just in this project alone because that is not the case. But I don't know if I took a picture of it when I rolled it out. I'll try to go into my old footage. That's what I'll do. I'll try to go into my old footage and find a picture of what this looked like um, when I hit goal on it so that I again can have a little side by side. For the letter Q, I had my sleek single in this shade Queen Complex. I wanted to hit pan on it and I really focused hard on this and I hope you can see there is a little bitty baby pan going on in there. I wore the same look so many times to get that done. I actually wore it seven times to get this pan and I don't usually like wearing the same look over and over again. I really love variety. I am a Gemini through and through. So to have worn the same look seven times basically in a row so that I could make sure that I had a win, uh, I feel like for me is a personal accomplishment. So for the letter R, I have another fail, unfortunately. So this is my Hourglass Scattered Light in the shade Reflect. I really, really love this product. I had wanted to hit pan on it. I did not hit pan on it. I did not even come close. There's a little bit of a dip going on in there, but not really much. Um, I used this one time since our last check-in. It just wasn't something I was pulling for. It's a beautiful product, and I have no reason to dislike it or want to get rid of it or anything like that. I just, for whatever reason, wasn't pulling for it. I think part of that had to do with all of the different eyeshadows that I'm panning in other projects. They didn't always complement one another and so I didn't think about it as much as maybe I would have had I not been doing those other projects as well. For the letter S we have another win. I believe I've already spoken about this but this is my Bare Minerals Rescue Complexion uh, SPF Veil. So this was a win. Cut it open, scripted it out, used every little bitty bit of it and that is a win as well. So yay! For the letter T, this was also one that was hit early on in the year. This is my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer, and I just wanted to hit pan on it. Again, I have used it since that um, rollout, so the pan is a little bit larger than it had been, but super stoked that I hit pan on that guy there. For the letter U, I think this was the first thing I hit go on. This was my little mini of the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector that was a rollover from my 2019 project. And as you can see, I did clear it out completely, which is again, very, very exciting. I fell in love with this product. In fact, I did purchase a full size of it earlier in the year. So really, really great product and one that I really, really enjoy. For the letter V, we have another lipstick that I uh, didn't use a ton. <laughs> this is Charlotte Tilbury's Very Victoria. I absolutely love this lipstick. It is one of my very favorite sort of deeper nudes on me, and I really, really enjoy it. I only used it once yeah, once since our last check-in. Again, I will make sure that I have the piece of paper um, to see if I came even anywhere close to going through a third. I highly doubt that I did, but it'll still be fun to see kind of the change over time. <laughs> oh, my old friend, White Citrus, my bubble bath that I did not use at all. This is the biggest fail of the entire project because I did not take a single bubble bath for myself in the entirety of the year. So I didn't use that at all. I had truly intended to. I truly intended to. And I think I just underestimated how busy my life was going to be with three little tiny humans running around my house. <laughs> For the letter X, we have my Milani Extra Large Make It Last, and we are all done. There's a teeny, teeny, tiny little bit left in the bottom that I couldn't get out, but as a whole, this guy is all done, which I'm very excited to have another product that I can put into my year of empties. So this guy here, I did use a total of 11 times since our last check-in, and I'm really excited that that is finished. 
The letter Y I think is the most surprising product that I have in the entirety of this project and that is my It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi uh, lip treatment in this shade Your Perfect Pink. It had been my goal to use this guy up entirely and as you can see I did not do that. I really love this product and I am absolutely flabbergasted by it. I used this I think more than anything else in this project. It might be a neck and neck tie with um, my Fenty powder but I used this so consistently and there's still so much product left in there. If you want a really good lip treatment that is going to stand the time, this is an awesome option and I do hands down recommend it so highly. I really enjoyed it and going to keep on trucking through it. And then finally for the letter Z, we have my Stila Stay All Day Lip Liner in the shade Zinfandel. It was my goal to use it up entirely and you guys, I didn't do that. I'm so sorry, but I did not. I tried, I did, I tried. I used it a total of six times since our last check-in. Um, because I fill in the entirety of my lips, I really felt like I had a good shot at getting that used up. But in the end, uh, I just didn't pull it out for you guys. So I apologize. So. Overall, I feel like there were some really, really big wins and then some really, really big loses. Um, I'm kind of wanting your opinion. So there are some things that I got really frustrated with this year when it comes to this project. And so this foundation is a great example. I really like this foundation, but it's the only thing, almost the only thing that I used all year. So what that means is that all of the other foundations in my collection really got heavily neglected. And there were even times when I really wanted to be using a different foundation. Over the summer, I really like using powder foundations. I feel like they work with my skin so nicely. And I wouldn't. I would have a pull to want to use something else, but I would use this because I was dedicated to my project. And when it comes to these long projects, my year-long projects, I like choosing things that are going to be a bit of a stretch. For me and my way of thinking, you guys don't come on here to watch my updates if I'm just constantly like rolling stuff out. Like there's a sense of accomplishment when you have, or at least for me, there's a sense of accomplishment when you have to actually work at something. And I think that's why I enjoyed updating on my Gloss Angels lip gloss so much because you can actually see the change going through it and you know really kind of go along that journey with me to using that product up and I feel like that is much more compelling to watch. But on the flip side, if I'm not careful, then I set goals that are too far out and then like I said things get neglected in my collection. So all of that to say, I'm not sure what I want for this project for 2021. I have kind of two thoughts here. I can either retire it for the moment and just not do a 2021 A to Z, or I can do a 2021 A to Z that is non-makeup focused. So skincare, hair care, body care, those types of things, because I just really want to a, continue in other projects that are smaller. They may still go for the entire year, but there are fewer products in it so that I can get back into really playing more in my makeup. I miss being able to get more use out of every product instead of just a ton of use out of specific products. I hope that makes sense. So I would love to know kind of what your thoughts are. Would you rather me go ahead and just retire the project for 2021 and revisit it in the future? Or would you want to watch me go through products that are non-makeup related? please, please let me know. So we have the first in a month of finales. I hope that you have enjoyed being with me on this journey and that you will hang around with me again in the future. I love you guys all so, so much. It really genuinely, it makes my day when you guys comment on my videos and we have conversations and I just really like that community aspect. So thank you so, so much to all of you who, you know, like to hang out with me. I hope that you all are doing very, very well in your product projects rather. I hope that December is starting out really, really well for you. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.